Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So, guys, we did a video this morning over on Patreon. I think we did. It feels like a day ago. Yeah, it feels a while ago. It yeah. feels a while ago. Uh, there's just so much going on. And so we were just doing our, well, homesteading thing most of the day and trying to get preparations in order. And there's a lot of crazy, crazy weather out there. Let's start over here. Uh, massive half mile wide tornado reported in several counties in Nebraska knocking over a semi truck. As you can see this half a mile across. There's multiple tornadoes right now in Nebraska and Idaho um, that have caused damage and you know it, it's just chaotic and it's it may be unprecedented for the area uh, the size and volume that we are seeing. We were just on the phone with one of our family members that lives in Omaha, and I also have a cousin that lives in Lincoln, and this whole area is just crazy tonight. Yes, I mean, this is really bad, unheard of, just something really, really, I mean, to me, considering that uh, this area is slated for one of those cell cities, I, I'm looking at it very suspicious because of the devastation. I mean, people are losing their livelihoods in just a blink of an eye. This is really, really horrible. I mean, we are grateful that our family members that are there, they're safe. We've heard from them right now, but that's not the case for everybody. And, and I don't know, I see this stuff and I just see it so unnecessary. Yeah, you know, again, the realization uh, that there's geoengineering, climate, <laughs> climate engineering that is underway. And absolutely, there are many waking up to the possibility of weather warfare. Well, Omaha, Nebraska is a major military facility. In fact, it's one of the major nuclear facilities. This would be a huge target in, in, in case of war. So you got to wonder. And yeah, of course, tornadoes do happen. It's that time of year. But yet, you know, what we're seeing is is really unusual. So you have tornado warnings issued for counties in south central Iowa. Uh, National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued tornado warning for Madison Union, Adair, and Ringgold counties uh, until 8 o'clock. At 7.16 p.m., there was a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado that was located five miles uh, northeast of Green Valley Lake State Park, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. And there was another one located over the uh, Arena area. And, you know, there's been just a lot of devastation already on the ground. This is Shelby, Iowa. Look at the size of this thing. It's just massive. And I was on uh, Ryan Hall, y'all, looking at his live as he was covering this. And so I just had to throw out there, hey, you know, geoengineering, weather warfare is a reality. And so one of his, um, one of his mods was like, no conspiracy theories allowed. Uh, it's not a conspiracy. It's a fact. Look up Operation Popeye. Yeah, look up Operation Sea Spray while you're at it. Look at all the declassified documents on weather warfare. It is a reality. It, this is just massive. When we see these things, and again, this is the area that we're talking about, all the way from Lincoln over uh, to Shelby and, and now moving you know, off uh, eastward as well. It, it, when you see things like this and outbreaks, that are historic and potentially uh, record-breaking one after another, after another, after another. Uh, you know, we understand there's an agenda. And we were talking to one of our family members up in Washington. Hey, KK. Hi, KK. We love you, KK. And, you know, she's talking about, oh, well, we had to pay our carbon tax. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You know, here in the U.S. too, carbon tax? Because we know Canada, U.K., so many countries. But, yeah, you know, of course, the left coast, and this is the beauty of living in a red state, uh, no carbon tax. No, there's not. I mean, there's just not too many taxes at all here. No, absolutely. So, yes, this is Bennington, Nebraska. 
um, Blair, Missouri Valley, Iowa, and Valley, Nebraska confirmed enormous just it, this is a huge system as you can see this is damage in the Omaha Nebraska area you know these were beautiful houses um, expensive looking houses and it looks like a mess so again we're sending our prayers and best intentions when you look at this yeah it is terrifying and as somebody that's had a tornado uh, passed right in front of them, maybe a hundred feet away <laughs> once, and we just basically sat and said our prayers and put out positive vibes because we didn't know if we were going to get swept away with it. It's scary. You know, been in hurricanes too. Um, these these are nothing to take lightly. Just incredible everything we're seeing uh, in these times. Here you have a small tornado satellite passes by and then the massive mile wide wedge tornado moves by. That's just enormous. And there's something about being out in the flat open spaces like this, which makes it even scarier. Uh, you know, it's nice that you don't have trees falling down on you. But uh, as another good friend of ours, uh, Special K, by the way, would say, you know, if you're up in Kansas, you definitely got to have yourself a basement or you need at least some sort of shelter to get into underground. Well, this is really strange, too. And, and when we were talking to our family member that lives over there, she was also making mention of um, how the tornadoes are moving, you know, whether they're moving from east to west, west to east. She said that they were not moving the way that they should in an organic matter matter so it just it looks really really suspicious i'm not afraid to call it what it is no and it it, it costs us uh algorithms you know because we we speak with our hearts and we speak what we feel and sense you have this report, Chief, we have 30 to 40 houses gone. We need mass casualty resources. As of now, there have been at least 28 touchdowns across multiple states. They're some of the largest we've seen in quite a long time. Yeah, very, very large as you look at damage. That one popped up again. Damage to an airport. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be a, a big cleanup here. Hopefully there were miracles and people escaped all this chaos. And here you see this. It says not only is the Omaha, Nebraska tornado the highest VROT so far this year, it's also in the top 20 of all time, 112.3 knots. Uh, it this could be one of the strongest tornado outbreaks we've seen in recorded history in this area. By the way, um, this looks ominously similar to 1987, and this is where we are at this moment. Yeah, there is a crash coming. Um, that's obvious. It, and again, I feel that the crash is very near, and it's going to be timed with the war expansion, which... You know, we we follow and we've talked about Joni Petri. Uh, she is one of the two Vedic astrologers that we ourselves listen to because we enjoy her. And, um, you know, she was just sharing that she got it in a vision. That and this is unusual for Joni. We've watched Joni a long time and she doesn't usually share visions. No. I've never I've never heard her say I had a vision. No. Um, but she says, you know, she is seeing a major attack on the U.S. in the middle of May um, is what she's seeing, like maybe the 10th to the 19th or 20th, I believe, is what she was saying. I think she, she said to extend it out a little bit just to be safe. But when she looks at the astrology, it makes her feel a certain way, which we totally understand that. But then she actually had a vision. So she was also th throwing out a word that came to her. San. So she threw out there possibly San Diego, possibly San Francisco. 
and she thought mo most likely San Antonio. Um, so again, check out Joni Patry, P-A-T-R-Y. Um, she, you know, she's very insightful, and we just enjoy Joni. Um, and it's unusual for her to share things like this. It is, it is, and, and I mean, she is uh, also into Vedic astrology. So when she gives you um, all of the information, it, it's going to be at a different degree rather than Western, and and we just prefer the true degrees, you know, as opposed to the other. To me, it just seems to be a little bit better. So I don't know. Looks like there's some things coming coming down the down the down the pipe and we should all simply uh, you know prepare as best as we can without losing our lives and without you know have being fearful at every turn of course we prepare but then we also live and we do the best we can and we get into that spiritual practice and we understand with that spiritual practice uh things can things can be better around us so, you know, you could read what's up there on the screen. I won't say it um, just because, again, this is on YT. Um, but, you know, a 19 year old passed away suddenly following getting a, a FL period U shot. Uh, yeah. My question is, why in the world would you? I mean, to me, it just boggles my mind that people do that at 19 years. Uh, I understand senior citizens um, and how they could be pressured into things. Um, but a kid, build your immune system. Hello. You know, it's just like it boggles my mind. Uh, I, you know, personally, I haven't had any of those type of things. Um, I don't even know what I had as a kid because I missed some. I'm not even sure if I've had anything uh because i don't believe in them and that's just me i i really don't believe in them at all not in the least i i don't even believe in what they believe as far as their medical theory uh and that again is just me so build your immune system is what i would always say detox daily because really you know again when you're looking at people getting cancer they're just not able to get rid of all the toxins fast enough. Why in the world would you add more toxins? It, uh, it just boggles my mind. I, I really, really can't understand it. Um, and I'm glad that I haven't gone that route. And, you know, again, we can only speak for ourselves because we, we have family members that have gone that route even when we begged them not to. And here we have a, a fire. This is in New Mexico. This is in Roswell. The old RAAF air base is on fire. Historic sites like Hangar 84 in danger of being lost. More and more fires everywhere. And, you know, unusual quakes. Nothing so much to speak of today, but uh, we're definitely watching it. And for sure, America, your food is poison. Ten foods that should be banned in the U.S., uh, Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, they contain yellow dye number 5, red dye number 40. Additives banned in several European countries due to potential harm to kids with attention issues. Uh, Betty Crocker Fudge Mix, Fudge Brownie Mix, partially hydrogenated oil, um, among, amongst other things. You know, I saw somebody else saying it very clearly and very, very plainly. Um, just eat things that are made of one item or put together multiple items yourself that you know that they are organic. So, you know, I have my routine. If we go shopping and stuff, I'll bring drinks with me. And, you know, it's usually organic coffee and organic teas. And that's pretty much it. Organic coffee, organic teas, and water with some lemon is about all we really drink most of the time. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit boring that way around here, but, you know, we all have to make our choices. And like I say, you kind of got to choose your suck, you know, and I'd rather have, you know, something like lemon water or tea rather than, you know, get sick. <laughs> so and to me, it's not that bad. I kind of like it. You you do start to get a, you start to get a, a used to these new flavors and your taste buds do adjust. They absolutely adjust. And I mean, it's no joke about the sugar and how how toxic it is and how 
addicting. It really, really is. I mean, you might be fighting some serious addictions like smoking and other things, but then when you start looking at sugar, boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's that's a tough one, and it's just wrong. It shouldn't be that way. You know, other things in this list are uh, breakfast sausages. You know, beware of nitrates. They're cancer-causing. Uh, they're in uh, regular bacon. They're in your... Um, you know your cold cut meats things like that they stick them everywhere they can they they stick so m many cancer causing agents and what it is is a little bit here a little bit there it all adds up and it overwhelms your system and you cannot detox it fast enough and and then you know of course there's other things that even go worse i, I mean regular canned soda is just atrocious obviously there's so much and chicken you cannot trust chicken you know out there it it's all junk and and it will absolutely impact your uh, immune system and cause inflammation Infl inflammation is the root cause of virtually all disease when you get down to it and you know most people are suffering from a toxic overload unless you're living on some strange you know Little island somewhere in the middle of nowhere that you're not getting sprayed overhead. There was a big X right over our head today. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. They're still doing uh, the geoengineering and the weather modification in this area, even though we're not a populated area. And I know Tennessee banned it. I, I'm curious to see if, if, if that's had any effect. But again, detox daily. This little guy's having fun. <laughs> and take time out to play with your pups and your kitties and just get out into nature. Nature's a huge healer. Um, you know, we're out in the sun all the time. And I, it's weird. I don't get sunburned. And I'm always out in the sun. And I never put anything on. Mm -hmm. It's strange. I know. I know. It's strange. So... Uh, after the video today, if you guys could please uh, sit and spend a minute, whatever modality you use, and send uh, energy to people who've been affected over there, um, and in all walks of life, and and the pets too. So we're we're going to be doing it. We're going to be spending some time and energy. Our friend is, and if you guys could add to that too, it does help bring the miracles up, up, up because it opens doors to positive outcome. Thank you. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.